It is an honor and a privilege to have you as a fan of celebrity news and lifestyle where you have kinds of your genuine juicy news concerning your favorite celebrities. Take your precious time to sit down and let's share thoughts together with love and peace. Golf advances at finals with rare win over Swiatek. Coco Golf confirmed her place in the semi-finals of the WTA finals with a rare win over defending champion Iga Swiatek. The American defeated number 2 Iga Swiatek 6, 3, 6, 4 to join Erina Sabalenka in the semi-finals in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The result also means Sabalenka will become the world number one at the end of the year, while second-ranked Swiatek is no longer able to catch her in the rankings. It was only the second time Gorf had defeated the Polish Swiatek in 13 attempts. It's a great feeling, said the 20-year-old Gorf. I knew before the match, even though we had a head-to-head, -head, that I was confident, and I played some great tennis. Even though I played a little bit poorly, the matches I lost were always draws. That gave me confidence and I knew that, if I kept my level up, I would have a chance to finish the match. Earlier Gorf's compatriot Jessica Pegula became the second player to be eliminated from the season-ending tournament after Alina Rybakina on Monday, after losing 6-3, 6, three, six three to Barbora Krijcikova. Swiatek must beat Pegula on Thursday in Orange's final group match to advance, while third seed Gorf must beat Czech Krijcikova to claim the world number one ranking. Gorf has not beaten the 23-year-old Swiatek in three sets since last year's. Cincinnati Open and the American has put her opponent under pressure from the start in Riyadh. Roland Garros champion Swiatek, playing only her second match under new coach Wimfaset, saved four break points early in the first set, before sending a backhand past the baseline again in the fifth. Golf then converted a set point on Swiatek's serve, with the pole sending a forehand out of bounds. But Gorf's form collapsed early in the second set, saving five break points in the first two service games, and committing six double faults before Swiatek made just one at the end. But she broke straight away at point zero, regained her composure, and retreated after the break point. The two players traded more breaks in an eventful set in which seven of the first eight games came on break points. Gorf then broke in the first game of the match, before Swiatek gave him the win with a long forehand on match point. In her previous match, Wimbledon champion Krij Sikova had little trouble against a lackluster Pegula, who reached last year's final. In a performance devoid of any positive energy, Pegula struggled to deal with the Czech's powerful serves, including 11 aces, and scored just four goals in a match that lasted just over an hour. The 30-year-old Pegula, who reached the US Open final, got off to a perfect start with a zero serve in her first match, amid a series of unforced errors from Krij Sikova. But after Krij Sikova secured an initial break midway through the first set, the sixth-seeded Pegula's body language began to deteriorate, and she gave her opponent a weak first set. Response, sending the ball into the net from close range. Pegula was no better at the start of the second set, with Krij Sikova receiving Pegula's serve at the first opportunity, but the American got a brief reprieve by Deuce in the next game. Any hope of a comeback was dashed, when she double faulted to give her opponent a break, after which Krij Sikova, whose game was far from perfect, won. Comfortably, with a single break point the only hurdle. I'm really happy with the way I played today, said Krij Sikova who is ranked 8th and 13th in the world, but qualified for the WTA finals thanks to her major title. I feel like I have to play my best tennis. The 2024 Slam Champion. I've had some really strong moments this season, especially when I won Wimbledon. It's indescribable, and to be here in this moment, it's a huge honor to play in the last 16. The WTA finals were held in Saudi Arabia for the first time, a move criticized by some because of the country's human rights record. This year's tournament boasts record prize money, with the singles champion expected to pocket around 4 meters. In the final matches of the Purple Group on Wednesday, Sabalenka will face Ryback in a before. Jasmine Paolini and Zenkin will compete for a place in the semi-finals thanks for reaching out to celebrity news and lifestyle, and for watching our videos till the end, if there's something about this video, that you'll like to share, 
please do share with us, and guys don't forget to subscribe, like, this video, share and leave your comment on the comment section below your comments matter see.